Welcome back everyone. It's been quite a while. Uh, if I sound a little bit odd, it's because I'm just getting over strep, which is one of the reasons it's been quite a while. So I'm going to work on crafting, but before I do crafting, I do want to do one little teeny thing, and that is I want to fix it so we can see these things much more clearly. The core issue here is that if we put up a GUI, uh, the GUI pops in front of these objects and you can see that here with the lines that are happening in front of the objects. So if we wanted to have an object that we could for example see against this white background we could put a GUI against it or we could darken the entire camera and which way we want to do it is up to us. It's easy enough for us to put a physical object in front of that camera or even set the camera to be a uh, uh, this is the camera I believe yeah or we can even set the camera to be a uh, have a dark background rather than a depth only background. Um, however, those things would be a little bit annoying. For so for the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it so that the um, that there is a background image here which is better than this one, and I'll apply it here as well. And we'll just bracket them. Uh, the items themselves will never be invisible, so that should work. The problem is the reason I didn't do that before is because this particular image. It doesn't actually exist in the f in the uh, uh, in the assets. It's a default image that's built in uh, to Unity in such a way that you don't actually have any access to it. So I've got to draw my own. So here I've popped open new, and now this isn't a very good image editing program. It never has been, and it's getting worse all the time. But it'll serve for our needs. So I've just created a new image that's 256 pixels wide and 128 pixels tall. Um, it's just a habit of mine to do everything in powers of two because uh, that's more or less what you need to do uh, when you're doing textures if you want good performance. So we're going to go and draw this inner line here and then we're just going to fill it with some paint using this paint here. Now I believe that the text is white and you can see that that's true the text is white so we're going to use a dark color in the background here but black, black is okay because what we're going to do is we're going to open up the layers and we're going to make this layer partially transparent um, like this. so. Uh, let's make it 70 there, something like that. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, first we're going to create a new layer, pop, and then we're going to go ahead and invert our selection and then expand it. There we go. And now this area we're going to fill with a white border. But rather than just fill it like this, I'm... Well, that's not even white. We could just fill it like this and then bring the opacity down and we would get something that looks okay. Um, but I actually want to give us a little bit of character. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, warp this a little bit by using the uh, selecting all and then using the deform here. Is this the cage deform? Is this what I'd like? No, this isn't it. Uh, where's the free deform? That's perspective, that's rotation. Where are you free deform? This shouldn't be this hard. Let me look for it. Hold on. I can't find the free deform tool and frankly I hate GIMP so much that I'm not going to bother to look for it. But I do want a little bit of a deform so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that we are on the front layer and I'm going to just grab a piece of it here and cut. No, X swaps some. What is cut? I guess I'll manually select cut and then paste and then move it. And I have to do that because GIMP has no concept of moving something you've selected. Um, and then I will go to the where is the pixel perfect? Uh, this is the, this is a pencil. It's not pixel perfect. I guess I will manually select a pixel. For some reason, a pixel is three by three. Um, that's really stupid. I would like to have a small pixel. Boy, if only I had that menu here. That would be so handy. But I can't put it there because I accidentally dragged it out once and it doesn't work anymore. Where are my tool options? 
paint dynamics. Is that what I would like? No, I don't think so. No. Isn't this fun? Um, this really shouldn't be... Oh, tool option. There it is. Here it is. This is the toolbar that got separated out and won't rejoin because GIMP is really dumb. So we're going to go ahead and select pixel, like we did on the right-hand side, but then we're going to manually change the size to 1. <laughs> um, also, we're going to anchor this down and draw in some white. Like so. And we'll just go down to the background layer and we'll chunk, take out that chunk there just so that it matches up with the chunk above. Um, that's too small of a chunk, so select Grow, one pixel, and then we'll just delete with Control x There we go. And then we're going to save that to our project. I just want to show you that this is how clever it is. It actually puts the primary dialog box behind all of the toolbar boxes. Anyhow, now we've got this box right here with this little divot taken out of the corner and what we're going to do is we are going to replace this with that and the way we do that is we find our skin the item menu skin here and we take a look at this we've got the boxes already open and we've ground down to normal and there is the box background but that's the pre-existing box background we want this box background I didn't realize they were named the same thing sorry about that and you can see that we now have a much more aggressive bordered box now we can also go to label and do the exact same thing. Drop it here. Later on we can polish this box to look however we would like and use a different one for label. Um, I believe that you can also use the nine corner method uh, or eight corner and, and middle piece method although I'm not sure how to do that. Either way um, you can see that we can now see it quite clearly. Uh, now, I know that this episode was quite short and full of me, mostly me whining, but I am actually going to stop here uh, just because I'm not entirely sure I'm going to upload this episode. If I do upload the episode, there'll be another one later in the day.